In the earlier days of the internet, the main concern was to make the technology work. The main questions you would ask as a tech company would revolve around how can you launch your web application quickly and how can you scale well as the user demand increases. And the answer to these questions led to many of the technologies we know today, from SQL-based databases that scale well vertically to NoSQL-based databases that scale well horizontally. And as the number of tech companies increase, we've seen many virtualization technologies from virtual machines to containerization to satisfy that demand for compute more securely and cheaply. And with the advancement in shared hosting, we are now able to leverage major cloud providers such as AWS, GCP, and Azure to rapidly deploy our code within minutes rather than setting up our own data center. At least this is the case for many companies. And although this is a great option, there are still a significant number of companies where you would need to have your own data center for either security or compliance reasons. For example, your data might be limited to a certain geolocation, or depending on your data, you may need to actually have a separate hardware for your data, which means you won't be able to use a shared hosting service. This option of having your own data center is usually called having a server on-premises or on-prem. And there's also a third option, which is between having on-premises versus cloud-based development, is a hybrid one where you have some of your data and application logic residing on your on-premises servers, and some of it on the cloud, such as on AWS servers. Because even though virtual machines help a lot with driving costs down significantly, no hardware or software is fully secure and using a cloud provider can provide additional security concerns for your company, depending on your application. With that said, having your own data center comes with its own challenges. And although the main challenge used to be how to get it started and scale well, now that we have the technology more available, a bigger concern is around how to do it cost effectively for the company which would mean using up less hardware and less electricity. And when it comes to saving costs on a data center, a major step is to choose the right hardware at the right scale. And when choosing the right hardware, one of the first things you should know is that different hardware components are good at doing different tasks. For example, CPUs or central processing units are great at performing general tasks, and that's why they're used so commonly. But if you know that you'll be doing some graphics intensive workloads, such as running a game or editing images or videos, then chances are you'll be much better off served with a GPU which is a graphics processing unit. And since they're inside my Nvidia, GPUs come a long way and they've actually been real performant in many cases, including machine learning and artificial intelligence as well, along with high performance computing or HPC for short. Although GPUs are very versatile and really powerful in a lot of cases, when it comes to having a data center, there can be a better suited option, depending on your use case, called a DPU, which is data processing unit. And data processing units are really optimized for that to be run in a data center, which is why they are designed and optimized for networking, storage, and virtualization. And according to a research by NVIDIA, you can expect to save up to $26 million over a three-year period of time on your data center. And the cost savings here come from needing less servers, because DPUs are better suited for this task. And they also use almost 50% less electricity compared to a CPU-based data center. And these significant differences in both compute and electricity usage not only help your company to be more cost effective in having and keeping a data center, but it's also a great step in sustainable computing as well. The specific DPU we are talking about today that provides all these benefits is called NVIDIA Bluefield DPU. With that said, if you are looking for a way to cut your cost down in a data center or increase your performance with a DPU, I'll make sure to put the necessary links down below as well. With that said, I hope you got some value out of this video and I'll see you on the next one.